Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Show. So this is an episode that I'm uh, super excited about. Uh, I feel like I've been saying that a lot recently about my episodes, but uh, ever since I, we moved into this new place and I got this bigger garage, I was just like so excited to customize it and make it my own. I have done a few videos as far as doing the door insulation and the, uh, uh, the LED lights, uh, but now I'm finally doing my like, toolbox and storage uh, system. Uh, so if you're anything like me, you've probably seen YouTube videos of like the exotic cars and then the like crazy like built-in uh, cabinets and uh, or I mean just seen them on Instagram or whatever and been super jealous and then you realize that those cabinet systems cost as much as your dream car. Uh, so now that I got the uh, dream car or whatever I wanted to spend far less on the cabinets. Uh, so I think this whole project is going to be like less than $2,000. Uh, if not even less than that, uh, I'm going to try and I'll tally everything up at the end. But most of the stuff I've been getting, I've been trying to get off of Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and stuff. Um, so like these cabinets, for instance, uh, maybe I would pay a little bit for these, but I paid $200 for four 36 inch base cabinets. They're pretty good quality. Uh, they are a little beat up, so I've had to make a few repairs on them. Uh, but those are going to be the base. And then I got this new Harbor Freight 44 inch uh, toolbox, which I just got last night. and haven't really messed around with at all yet, but so far I'm super excited about it. It's far nicer than my old Craftsman that I've had for like over 20 years. I mean, it's been great, but uh, this is a little bit nicer. Uh, so my plan is kind of like you see over here, just make like a T-Vi4 exoskeleton and uh, build it over the over the cabinets and then the Harbor Freight is uh, toolbox with the 23, 30 seconds piece of plywood on top is exactly 40 inches and then I'm making my 2x4 frame to 40 inches and then this piece that goes across the back is uh, 40 inches uh, off the back and then I'm going to paint everything and then eventually I'm going to do upper cabinets as well I haven't decided if I'm going to do 236 cabinets on each end or uh, 2 or sorry 1 36 on each end or 2 30 inch cabinets on each end I haven't really decided yet and then I have an old TV that I'm going to put up here and an old stereo system so pretty much everything is recycled more or less for this project, this toolbox being the only thing that I bought uh, new. And even like all my woodworking supplies, <laughs> I bought all of that stuff off of um, Facebook Marketplace. My intent was to just sell them afterwards because I hate woodworking and actually I've kind of liked it more since I started this. But anyways, I'm not good at it. I guess I'm not good at working on cars either, but I'm even less good at that. So I thought about uh, <laughs> selling all that stuff after I was done with it. I don't know, I, it's kind of useful now that we have a bigger house or whatever, so maybe I'll hold on to it. Just takes up space in the garage, so I'll have to find somewhere to hide it all the way. So I did do a design on SketchUp, um, but since I made the 3D model on SketchUp, I've changed a lot. Like originally I wasn't going to do the end locker. Oh yeah, I got that end locker for $100 on Facebook Marketplace T. Um, so yeah, I wasn't going to do an end locker, I was just going to do cabinets all the way across the bottom. But I kind of wanted a tall walker for all my oils and stuff like that, so I got that for cheap. Um, so that's going to stay, and I'm doing the three cabinets in the toolbox in the middle. I got the 44-inch Harbor Freight with the 14-inch extension. I'll probably do a more in-depth video of this later, but once I get to mess around with it more. But yeah, that's my plan. Uh, I'm probably not going to do like that much of a how-to on this one, just because, like I said, I'm not very good at working. I'm learning as I go, but I'll probably time-lapse everything, and if you have any questions, then be sure to write them in the comments, and I'll get back to you. All right, let's get to it, guys.
Hey guys, so I think this is where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I've been working on this pretty much all day. It's like almost midnight now. I did take a break to go uh, play hockey tonight. But other than that, um, I got finally got the drawers done, which is by far and away the hardest part of this project. Uh, they just all they just have to be perfect as far as the dimensions go. So it's a lot of fine tuning and uh, correcting, I guess. Uh, I'm sure it's a lot easier for some people, but for me, it's my first time doing it. Uh, making custom drawers and uh, but I have three working ones now uh, so pretty happy about that obviously I still need to make the false fronts for them uh, but for now they'll work uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy uh, these zero slides that I use for these seem a little bit weak uh, I kind of wish that I got the ball bearing slides these were much cheaper, so I guess if they ever wear out, then I'll just go ahead and upgrade to the ball bearing slides. Um, but yeah, that was pretty successful. I'm really happy how it's looking. I think the framing looks awesome. I decided to do this triangle uh, down here, which I think is pretty cool uh, once the top's down. Uh, so I think next time, uh, what we're going to be doing is painting uh, the faces of everything. So we'll be painting, painting the cabinets and all the uh, framing and also painting my locker. Um, just because I want to get the painting done, obviously, before I put the top down. I think that's the last thing stopping me from uh, putting the top down. Uh, and then once I get the top down and see where the trim's going to go, then I'll make the false fronts for these and get new hardware for the cabinets and new hardware for these. Uh, but so far, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Bye.